All right, guys, I'm out here trying the boozy slushy. So this is like vodka, fresh squeezed lemonade, basil, and I know I'm missing an ingredient, but I'll have it listed below. This is really good, and you can tell that it's made with fresh lemonade. Um, there's like a hint of basil in it, which I love the fact that I can taste it, and it's not too overpowering. But this is really good. Love it. Cheers. All right, guys, this is the avocado toast. It's kind of sliding down in the box, but take a look at it. It has all these little goodies on top. Um, go ahead and try it. They definitely don't jippy on the avocado, so that's a good thing. Lots of plant stuff on here. Oh. So, this is very light and airy. Um, not really sure what kind of bread this is, but it's like a really nice soft bite, but it's really crispy. Hey everyone, I'm here at the Chastain. We're kind of exploring the new South Terrace bar that they've just released in the past two weeks. And I'm here with Chef Christopher Grossman. Thank you for being here. Um, I just wanted to kind of ask you a few questions about pretty much the culinary program here. So what type of experience do you guys want to give your guests through the food that you serve? Um, we are just focused on doing, it's, I call it modern American cuisine. Um, which just really means whatever uh, kind of tickles my fancy on any, any given day. Uh, we focus on what's fresh, what's kind of in season right now. And we start with our garden out back and we kind of fill in with local farmers in the area. Okay. What would you say are some of the most popular dishes that people have been ordering in the past couple of weeks? Um, big demand uh, for our squash blossoms. So we've actually, we've grown all of the squash blossoms between the restaurant garden and my personal garden. Um, so those sell out rather quickly. Um, we've had soft shell crabs also kind of coming in and out that season's kids in, but those are by far probably the most popular. Okay, and then how long have you been a chef? Um, we opened in November 2020. Um, and then, so I've been in a chef in Atlanta though for going on 12 years. 12 years. Okay, and um, so what made them choose you as a chef? I think they just, like the food <laughs> that was it, it was that simple but um, you know we focus on um, the food we do appears to be very simple um, it's focused on sourcing quality ingredients and you know, very fresh great ingredients which means we do start locally but it's really um, about creating something that is really memorable but it's simple it's really letting the ingredients speak for themselves okay and I know you mentioned you use some things in your garden here in your own garden are there any other local Gardens or farms that you guys work with? Um, we use, yes, we work with quite a few people. Um, Day Spring Farms, we actually, uh, a lot of the pastries in the sourdough bread, um, we're sourcing locally uh, grown organic wheat that's being milled locally. Um, our grits and polenta that's being grown and milled locally from Day Spring Farms as well. Uh, Southern Swiss Dairy, I've been a long time partner with. Uh, so all of our fresh dairy uh, milk cream that we even use to make our own ricotta cheese comes from that local dairy. Um, Tucker Farms, straight from the backyard farms, um, just to name a couple of them are really big partners of ours. Okay, and is this something that you guys started um, when the restaurant relaunched in 20, November 2020? 
funny. Um, that is just actually that is my style of cuisine. I've been working with these um, farmers probably going back to when I arrived in Atlanta in 2013, 2014. Um, actually, probably before this. So, anyway, I, I, when I opened up Atlas, that's really it became a focus on the ingredients, which started with the farmers. Um, so, like our carrot soup, for example. Um, we started because the farmers told me they had two large carrots coming in, they're baby carrots. And I said, well, we can take those and do something with them. So the only reason that soup is on the menu is because of our partnership with that farm. And they had too many carrots because the carrots are delicious. They make worse. Yeah. <laughs> and then so for people that may not know, what are the benefits of working with local? What are the benefits of working with a local farm as opposed to kind of outsourcing? I believe in full traceability. I want to know who's growing my food. I want to know that it's being done ethically and sustainably. Um, you know, not everybody is certified organic, but they are still using organic methods. And I find if you know where your food is coming from, then you can get, you know, that translates into a better taste, a better ingredient. Um, even though it may not be visible, it's actually on the plate. Um, it's something I took from my time out in California where they said, well, this carrot tastes more like a carrot. And it's like, well, it was actually pulled from the ground, cleaned off, cooked, and served. It hasn't sat in a refrigerator, put in a box, put on a truck, traveled for seven days, and then sat in the box for another four days, at, you know, here in Atlanta until it's finally shipped out to me. It's the closest that we can get to picking something, cleaning it off, and cooking it and serving it. Um, that's the easiest and best way to serve great food. Okay, and so last question. For someone that hasn't been here, what are some dishes you recommend for now? Um, the whole menu is built, uh, I, we've kind of said choose your own adventure, but it's my way of asking you what you're in the mood for. Um, if I didn't like something that was on the menu, if I thought the ingredients were substandard or subpar, we take it off, we pull the band-aid off, and it's not on the menu. And it happens, we are reprinting, I am retyping the menus every single day based on the ingredients that are coming. So we have a wide range of dishes from, you know, our burger is very popular, um, and actually I would order that myself. Um, but if you're not in the mood for that, I mean, we've got a very healthy, um, we're doing an olive oil poached halibut right now, which is a very healthy portion, but it's also kind of reflecting the summer with chimichurri and grilled zucchini, which is really kind of my go-to in the summer. I want a kind of a light dish with a lot of acidity and brightness, and we're using eggplant from our garden in that as well. So it's really, you know, we also have quite a few vegetable sides that you can kind of fill in too. If you, I, I want tomatoes, then there's tomatoes. Or I want french fries, I get it. I order french fries everywhere I go. So those options are all there. So that's my way of asking you, what, what do you feel like today? All right. Depends on what you're feeling. So let's see what we'll have next for us. Here we have the cheeseburger, fries, and everything on this plate is made from scratch, down to the ketchup, for real. So, let's try this out. You probably sit down while I do this. Kind of like the inside of it. Ooh, see the juice is coming out? I love it. And Thank you so much. Chef is amazing. So good, right? I can't get the chair from And it's so juicy. You can take it home and take it home two hours later, and you still just can't put it down. Pickles. Are these like bread and butter pickles, or? Um, it's a. Uh, it's actually just. It's kind of a hybrid between a bread and butter, bread and butter, and just a dill pickle. Um, so those are all made in house from scratch. It's a pickle recipe we developed quite a while ago. We just developed up with 
got a little bit of spice to it too. Yeah. I'm not a pickle person, but I like it. And the fries. Oh, let's try the homemade ketchup. So the fries are like really crispy on the outside, but when you bite in, it's like really soft and perfect. And the ketchup is really good too. The crazy thing is, it tastes like it's like out of a bottle, like it's Heinz, but it has this like thickness and richness to it. Before you know it hasn't been sitting in the bottle. The Chastain is open from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and between the hours of 2 p.m. and 5, you can go ahead and grab some drinks at the brand new South Terrace Bar. For Secret Eats, I'm Pia Armstrong.